Very big hello to all my wonderful champions out there. I hope every one of you who is watching this video is having a big smile on their face just like mine, right? We are all happy. We are all settled. Exams are kind of over. Uh, yeah, and we have to now search for the best college out there. So today we are going to review JSS Science and Technology University, which is right there in Mysuru. And uh, over here, I am going to talk about... Uh, the KCET cutoff and also Comet K cutoff. Why Comet K, ma'am? Because you can enter this this particular college via Comet K also, but only to certain specific courses, not all of them. Okay, please make sure uh, you are watching the whole video for understanding what are those courses. I'm going to be talking about the placement rates, which is kind of similar to SJCE, which is a sister constituent of this particular university. So it's they have a conjoined website, my dear children, where all the information has been put. SJCE has a separate. Uh, website as well but they are i think not maintaining it well so probably all the information is up in here in one particular website so i have taken from the official website itself but i just wanted to tell you that yeah and apart from that if at all there is hostel facility or not and things like that and we will have a quick comparison between the previous year cutoff and this year cutoff for kcet so let's get started so the college name is jss science and technology university Okay, location is JSS Technical Institution Campus, University of Mysore, Campus Mysore. The year of establishment is 1963, my dear children. Going ahead with the fees. So, the fees for KCET, it is rupees 1,7495. This was a tentative fees which was released by KEA the previous year. So, over here you can see there is deemed and private university which who have this particular fees for general uh, category children and also 2A category, 2B category, 3A category, 3B category and things like that so please go through this also for yeah now going ahead with snq category you have uh, okay not applicable there we talk about uh, scst category my dear children the fees is 750 over here also uh, annual income up to 10 lakh it will be still 750 and over here category one children annual income up to 2.5 lakh your fees would be lesser that is 85,989 comparatively lesser okay so that is a thing that was released for the previous year now if you talk about comet k so through comet k as i told you you cannot enter through all the courses you have just three courses that is biotechnology civil engineering and mechanical engineering my dear children and this is the fees that you have to pay for all of that that is 2 lakh 81,470 while I was doing if you have not seen the top call top 15 colleges so fee structure and things like that please go and see it for Comet K children I'm telling you especially there are certain colleges uh, where biotechnology is still being taught but with a lesser price so you can go for that as well if you're looking for biotech okay so this is a tentative idea about the fees going ahead with the next and the most important detail out there that is the cut off so always remember for all the colleges you have a separate kct kct code as well as comet k college code so in kct the college code for this particular college is e057 okay for comet k it is e061 now the cutoff for the previous years which were there, the seats remains the same my dear children. This year they are yet to release the seat matrix. Once they release it, we will be making a separate video on the new seat matrix and also all this comparison and new review thing as well. Okay, so as of now, all the websites are working on their placement data and things like that. A lot of children are going to get placed only this particular year. So probably because of that, it's kind of a bit slow. But yeah, hopefully they'll do it and we will let you know about that as well. Yeah. Now, so biotechnology and engineering, the cutoff was 43,371. That means if someone gets a rank uh, below it, that is within it. For example, 40,000. I am getting 40,000. Then I can go for biotechnology engineering in this particular college. By a common it is 40,270. 77 the previous year okay now over here for civil engineering i didn't get the round the three extended cutoff my dear children round three cutoff uh, i don't know why it is not there probably they might have uh, uh, might have done some small error which is why i put the round two cutoff it was one lakh twenty three thousand fifty eight for civil engineering via comet k and there is one more course that is mechanical engineering for that it is 77186 now if you talk about kcet cutoff Okay, if you talk specifically about KCET cutoff, the highest cutoff has been meant for computer science and engineering. It was 52,000, sorry, 5,248. That is the highest cutoff. That means it is difficult to get a score within, uh, what's it, a rank within 5,248, right? Which is why we, we call it the highest cutoff. Okay, and the lowest cutoff was for construction, technology and management engineering. It was 2,51,439, my dear children. So, please remember this is how 
you access basically on the basis of computer science and engineering if the cutoff is actually little tighter that means they are allowing the entry of only very selective children and that is the thing that makes probably a college better yeah so yes I'm not saying that we should be selectively taking in children and things like that. No, but this is how generally it is being accessed. Okay, that is assessed as in which college is better, which college gives you good return and things like that. I know it's not a correct way of doing it. I totally agree with that, but this is how it is done. Now, uh, what do we have? Yeah, one important thing, information science and engineering, the cutoff is 7,249, which is also a really, really good field. Okay, if you are someone who is looking forward for an alternative, apart from computer science and engineering, I will recommend you this thing because I feel it's really, really good. I have seen uh, so many placement data in so many different colleges where the children who have got into this particular course have done really, really good. So, please do not believe me, but talk to the people out there who are in this particular college or who are doing this particular course and see whether... Uh, the people who are passing out are they getting placed out or not okay so all this thing you have to do i'm doing my part you have to do your part okay so that is it and if we talk about mechanical engineering it is 54,700. i'm not going in detail for all the things but yeah so this has high cutoff this has high cutoff um, computer science and business system has a higher cutoff if we talk about info uh, sorry electronics and communication engineering that also has a higher cutoff so these are the things which are probably uh, wanted by so many people which is why the cutoff is also way too much and the seats are also limited okay so yes that's about the cutoff now i'll be showing you now this is a comparison that i have so previous year the cutoff was three thousand okay here it is 5000 the previous year was 3525 which is even more tighter this this 2024 they loosened up a bit the previous to previous year that is 2023 cutoff i'm talking about the children who basically wrote their exam um who wrote their exam in the year 2023 okay in the exam in the year 2023 for them the cutoff was 3525 now the children who uh, wrote the exam in the year 2024 for them the cutoff was 5248 why is this big range difference probably because the paper had certain questions coming out from the out of syllabus questions were there which is why they might have loosened up a bit or probably they might have just increased the number of seats and things like that okay there are many criterias but i'll tell you one thing beforehand itself i tell in every particular video there are chances that the uh, what do you call the cutoff range can be tightened up so you should be making up an option entry list according to that okay be mentally prepared that this is something that is there this is my dream college and everything but i have to have a factual data i have to have facts there okay probably i might not be able to get into this particular college so i should be looking for some other course or from other college or some other college anything we should be ready for that okay which is the purpose of this particular video otherwise who does college review videos at this point of time you should be doing college review videos mostly during counseling but there is a sole reason for that that you have a quick research on things and you're mentally prepared about a lot of things in your life at, at least by now okay so yes my dear children i'll tell you something you have to be fearless okay you have to be fearless about understanding where you're getting things wrong okay about accepting the fact that i went wrong over here now i can do the correction by probably researching through it okay so make sure make sure you're understanding wherever you're getting things wrong you are researching a bit you take 20 30 minutes of your time to research a college each and every single day and write it down it is going to be helpful for you so the cutoff now has been increased to this now going ahead with all quota cutoff so i just spoke about general merit category but but over here you have different different categories my dear children i will be telling you again how can you actually access through so listen to me carefully okay so over here suppose i am doing biotechnology okay now in biotechnology again my dear children you have different different categories so suppose i am in 2 ag category for if i am in 2 ag category my cutoff my rank should be within this particular range so cutoff of each category would be different so according to your cutoff you have to uh, you have sorry according to your category you have to look for the cutoff you get it so the link if you want we can give you just ask us in the comment section we will be providing you the link you can click on that and then go ahead with all this data okay fine now 
the placement record as i told you sgce and this is a is having a conjoined website which is why it's kind of the similar data that we can provide you so there i told you 60 lpa was the highest in the year 2023-24 batch okay 9 lpa was the median salary and 400 plus recruiters came on the campus my dear children okay and these are the courses which were there uh, so computer science and engineering uh, had the highest package being a backed up okay so that is 56 lpa now we cannot be sure whether it's the students from SGC or it's the students from uh, JSS STU that is something uh, that uh, acts as a big question mark but with what I saw over here I took that in and I thought that I'll show you okay so over here it is said that our graduates are highly sought after by leading companies commanding competitive salaries the average package offered within the range of 8 to 12 LP and that is a big thing that is something that they have written I think they own it that is why they say it yeah so over here, when they're saying the average package is 8 to 12 LPA, does it matter to you? Yes, because highest package, as I always say, is not backed by everyone. It is backed by one or two people. But what about the others? They have to, they, they are the people who are getting the average salary, average package out there. So you should be very much focused on which particular college gives what average package, my dear children. So the average package is 8 to 12 LPA, which is not at all bad. And the highest package is reaching up to 40 to 52 LPA, even though in their official website, they have mentioned that 56 was the highest one in the year 2023 but i think they are kind of uh, what's say uh, what's say uh, truthful to themselves probably which is why they have even mentioned uh, uh, what's say salary lesser than the, what they have actually received so it is 40 to 52 lp which is uh, something that they are, they might be promising that you also if at all you join probably you can also avail this particular thing if you study really hard not if you just go and have fun there college is sure college should be about fun obviously i get it but college should also be about future now the information about the girls hostel and boys hostel whatever i could get i just put it over here listen to me carefully for girls hostel the college has two ladies hostel facilities for about 380 girls one located in the south end of the campus where the accommodation is provided to about 200 students my dear children now 180 girls are still remaining the other one located in huta gully uh, three kilometers from the college now that's a problem but the, don't worry whether accommodation is provided to about 180 students and also college provides the bus facility so you do not have to worry much about it now, the hostel runs a mess on dividing system basis okay now uh, about the fees and all they have not mentioned which is why i could not put in for girls hostel my dear children if you have any knowledge do let us know in the comment section below yeah now boy, for boys hostel the college has separate boys facilities for 570 boys that is ug in undergraduate 515 of them can be accommodated all located on the north end of the campus so the girls and the boys are totally separated one is in the south other one is in the north okay that's a sad thing but yeah <laughs> now the room rent for 12 months is rupees 1000 per month for UG students okay washing machine fees is rupees 3540 that is optional room rent extra rupees 5000 for single seater room that is UG students okay so this is the data that I got uh, tell me thank you after after doing this much research for you guys okay so my dear children that was that was just a joke you don't have to thank me you just have to go and research by yourself as well and uh, if at all you see that uh, some people are giving you multiple different information about it always refer to the people who are actually studying over there for example i uh, i heard from somewhere else and i told you don't believe me okay don't believe me i'm telling you that person might have said something else i might have said something. go talk to the people who are actually studying and not just one person multiple people because multiple people will be having multiple opinions regarding things for one person fund might be priority fund might be a priority for other person future might be a priority so they might be telling according to that so sorry so please take into consideration all these things and then only go ahead with whatever college you're looking forward for and i am here to help you out and not just me the whole team of disha karnataka is here my dear children and i, I hope we helped you during your case examination as well as the teachers are still helping you during comet k examination so make sure uh, make sure you trust in us completely even now also and we will also try to build that trust on yes and that's all my dear children if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel as well lots of love please take care of yourself you are going to get up and get into a very 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 good college bye bye